Hi guys, Lori here, Creating for Fun. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I have an easy, quick tutorial on my flowers. I've had a couple requests. These are my flowers. I'm sorry for the lighting. I don't have a good lighting setup, so excuse the shadows and um, I'm sorry if it's not the best. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to come on and show you real quick how easy it is to make these flowers. So first of all, um, for the centers, I use this punch and it's Frisker's Lisa Griffin, Griffith. Um, so I just punch out a bunch of, and then there's this one, which is, this is what I use for the base. So we have the center, the base, and then this one for the petals. And then this one for the other type of petals as well. Okay, so there's all the punches. And then I sit on the couch and I just punch away. So this is my, my stack of punched. So I do this like in episode. So one day I'll sit and I'll punch everything out. And then the next day I'll sit and I will uh, make the centers. And then, so for the centers, you can use, um, these are from the Dollar Tree. Or I get them also at Hobby Lobby and they come in different colors. Like here's red. If you, for Christmas, maybe I'll get some poinsettia type. Um, sorry for the crinkling. But, um, and then I found these just yesterday or the day before at Hobby Lobby and they are in the Christmas section, the Christmas shop. They're kind of blingy. I don't love that they have a, like the yellow background, but they look pretty. That's what this one is. So this is this ball. And then this one is the other gold balls also found at Hobby Lobby. I haven't used the Dollar Tree ones yet. So just so you see, um, with these, there's a lot of um, big chunky fallout. So then I just get my scissors, my brain, and I just cut, see all the fallout? I just cut down the middle and then I just kind of form it back. I do it mostly when I'm gluing on the center, okay? And then I just, whoops, throw them in my little container here so I have them ready. Okay, then you get your center, put a little bit of glue, and you stick it on there. I go crazy with these um, webs. They drive me nuts. So I just hold it there for a couple. Try not to OCD too much on the webs. Once it's adhered, then I just fold. Then you can do whatever color combos you want. And I like to do double or um, triple layers, just depending on my mood or how many I have. So then you just put a little thing of glue and you put it in the center. I think that's really cute. Although once you make the flower, they won't stay like that, but it looks cute. And then again, same thing. You just, just kind of hold it, pinch it, fold it up. So you see, now you can't really tell that the foam ball was distorted in any way. Okay, so that's how you do the, the centers. And so just have them all there. So then there's this petal, and what I do is I just pinch the petal. So another day I'll sit on the couch and just pinch, pinch, pinch petals in all different colors. So you see how that looks? Then I'll just put it in my little stack. And this is the, um, the other type, and same thing. I just go in and pinch. Pinch. Oh, this one had double. I didn't realize it was two, but same thing. So you just pinch, 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 pinch. All right, so now we are ready to make. Um, I do either way. I either start from the bottom or start from the top. Doesn't really matter. So we're just going to do from the top on this one. So this is your first. Um, so I'm just going to glue it to a center. And I don't really, um, so that's it, just glue it right to the middle. I do at least 
five or six layers so it's glued there and then I just kind of just kind of pinch it up so it's making a little a little flower pod so to speak and then I decide okay what am I gonna do next mm, I think I'm gonna do this one gold so same thing you're gonna well actually this is the other petal this is the circle one and it doesn't matter um, you can interchange them so see this is one I already have down this is the next one I'm gonna use or you can choose to use all the same type it, it's just whatever you want so I'm gonna switch it up put a dollop of glue there and then I like to switch so see how the petals would be lining up no I switch it so the petal would be going inside of the other one if you understand what I mean. And then same thing, just pinch it. Don't you see how it's forming? And that's it. Sometimes I flip it to the back just because it seems to be easier. Whoops, sorry about that. And then I can just put a dollop of glue there and then flip it, same thing, turn. This is that other petal. Sometimes when I do this, though, I tend to get it crooked, so. But I'm the crooked crafter, so doesn't really matter. And if it's crooked, it doesn't matter. Really can't tell. Oh, they're pretty in here. Oh, my tower is falling over here. So, yeah, the glue, the web's already driving me nuts. Just everywhere. The joys of glue guns, right? So you could be done if you want to, if you think that's enough, but I'm, I'm extra. So I always like to just add a couple more cause it looks so pretty. So making the flower in itself is not time consuming. Um, I think all the prep work might be, but I enjoy it. So it's not work for me. It's fun. And, um, I do it in different sessions. I sit all day at work, so to come home and sit for too many hours just hurts my back and my booty. So there we have our flower. And you know what? I didn't, I'm so sorry, I didn't punch out any leaves, so I can't show you. But um, so you just use any punch, not punch, um, dye. I don't have any leaf punches, but any dye that you have. So one day I'll sit and I'll just cut tons of leaves, which is what I did three days ago. And so now I'm out. So I need to do it again. So this is where you would put your leaf. And if you don't have a leaf, it's not the end of the world. You can use one, you can use two. Again, layer or don't layer, whatever you wanna do. So you would put your leaf right here if you had one. And then just glue, place your top on, or your, yeah, this would be the top on. Your leaf would be sticking out here. You could also use, um, you could use any type of leaf that you have really. I just feel like this is more cost effective the paper, but I should probably get on Alley and just order a bunch of leaves. And then there you have it. There's your dimensional flower. Wasn't that easy? So, so easy and so fun. And be careful, ladies. Super addicting. So let's just make one more and then we will be set. Oh, you know what? I don't have a center made usually I do all my centers first so I can just go boom 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 and I'm on a roll and my centers are done but I mean no big deal you can do it like this also on this one I didn't squish but I just kind of like to not line them up make them I don't know intertwine kind of Does that look pretty so fun oh my gosh these webs are driving me nuts I don't know if I have this is the only one of this paper that that I have but it doesn't matter sorry if I wasn't in frame tutorials is not my gifting not something I'm used to doing but I love watching them I just love watching people craft how about you guys 
give me a thumbs up and comment below if you like watching people craft. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know we're all crafters and we all do it, but just watching somebody physically do it is very satisfying. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, these webs. They are just too much. Maybe I should have done one without gold. Oh, well, sorry. I'm a gold girl. I bought so much of that gold glitter paper at Hobby Lobby and I just about went through it. Like, um, what am I on? Cool. And if you don't want to do the pattern, you don't have to. You can do, oh, I'm going to do two of the colors. Or you could throw in a pink right here if you wanted to. There are no rules. And see how you can't really tell, like, oh my gosh, you didn't follow through with the pattern. Anyways. That is my flower making tutorial. I hope you guys, oh my gosh, these glue webs. I hope you guys enjoy. And then what I like to do is um, just pop them up. So if you guys ever order flowers for me and you get them in the mail, I like to do this to them because I like the way it looks. I guess some people might like them flatter, but I like them. So that's just how you make them. You just kind of squish them back up. And then I don't have any gold cut out, so maybe we could do a pink, but. And again, the leaves are optional. You can do them with the leaves or you can do them without. When I first started making them, I wasn't doing leaves. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder what it would look like. So, I mean, it looks good both ways. And it looks good with plain, oh, that's the same. It looks good with plain paper and it looks good with pattern paper. Here's a white and gold one I made. So that's it. That's my flower tutorial. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, watching my tutorial. Uh, happy crafting. Please tag me if you guys make them. I would love to see your creations. Have a great crafty day. Bye girls.